Hello girlies, it's Mary and welcome back to The Curly Closet. So if this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome and if you're returning thank you for returning. So as you can see just came out of the shower and I'm ready to do another first impressions review. So the last first impressions review that I did was the Tangle Teaser Thick and Curly. I will link that up here and this time it's going to be the Felicia Leatherwood Detangler Brush. So it comes in this clear plastic container it says for Alicia Leatherwood detangling brush down here of course um, it has her lovely photo on the side you can see the lovely Felicia right here <laughs> so if you don't know who Felicia Leatherwood is she is a celebrity stylist she specializes in natural hairstyling um, and she's worked with a lot of celebrities um, in particular at the moment she works with um, Issa Rae of um, Awkward Black Girl or the Insecure series if you've seen any of those um, online then yep the lady who does all of her fabulous natural hairstyles is Felicia Leatherwood okay so these are the claims of the brush it says why you need this brush it says perfect for detangling all textures of hair curly kinky straight wavy super thick or fine hair so for all hair types all types of textured hair um, helps detangle hair with ease makes hair more manageable and helps to define curls coils and kinks I like the way they spot coils with a K. <laughs> um, works best with your favourite conditioner. Okay, so they're telling you to use conditioner. Okay, so that's a nice tip. Aids in avoiding unnecessary hair shedding by flexing and bending with each curl. Easy to clean after each use. Okay, so this is what the brush looks like. You can see it has these um, bristles they're very firm bristles mind like they don't really flex you know like how the tangle teaser ones flex these flex slightly but not as much so you can see here it says felicia leatherwood detangler brush it's embossed on the handle has a really nice wide handle actually so this is good for gripping and then it has this design where the, the top of the brush is not solid so these bits actually move so we have like columns of bristles that move like this. So yeah, this should be an interesting experience. Now, I must add that I did not buy this brush myself. It was gifted to me by the lovely people at Natural Hair Weekly. I will leave their links below. Um, but I will also be leaving um, information below regarding the price and availability in different countries and so on in the description box below the video. So today's leave-in conditioner of choice is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. You've seen this before so many times on my channel. Oh, blueberries. Okay, so as usual, I'm starting from the back. I'm going to be finger detangling a bit first. And then once the finger detangling takes place, then I'm going to start my brush or comb detangling. My hair's been so bouncy since my haircut, guys, I've got to say. Seriously. I'm going to link my video above here so you can see. Okay, so anyway, that's just with the leave-in and that's after doing some finger detangling. So that would be my leave-in. My oil is going to be Grow Healthy Shea and Coconut Oil. Okay, here we go. So, as usual, starting from the ends. Dude, this brush is wow. Okay, hold on. Let's do. Let's just see that one more time because that went through my hair way easier than I thought. Now, of course, you have to be a bit careful at the roots because you know. But look at that. And then look at the definition at the ends as well. Fam, that did way better than I was expecting. 
Okay, so this section has already been fingerly tangled and I've added a bit of oil. So we're going to find out this section is basically double the size that this section was. So we're going to see what happens now. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, so. You do have to kind of, kind of like with the tangle tees, I feel like I need to like hold the ends. Oh, it's a little bit tangled. Wow. Okay, let's see how it feels with like going towards the roots now. Ooh. Like right now, I'm just I'm just literally brushing for the pleasure of it right now. Like I really don't need to like brush this anymore. It's actually detangled. The first couple of goes towards the ends of my hair where I'm just like brushing through like I brushed through a bit of tangles there that's like maybe two or three passes but by the time I go from the middle the mid shaft of my hair and go down towards the end it's basically done it's done okay so so far so far we're going okay some of the tangle bits, of course, I have to like work a bit harder for. But as you can see, it gets here and then we're fine. Now, going towards the roots. Oh. <laughs> have to be a bit kind of careful. Just trying to see how this goes into the roots tee. Like it starts to pull on other bits of my hair. A little bit like the tangle teaser did, but over. Oops. <laughs> Overall, I find like it goes into my roots better than the tangle teaser. Oop, is that moving? Maybe it's because with the tangle teaser, like you have to actually grip it with your hand and put proper put it in here. So it's, I feel like it's kind of not so easy to control. Whereas because this has a really good handle to it, you can actually put this into the roots a bit more easily and somehow just have a bit more control. Again, I'm still not going to completely say it's as good as my wide tooth comb. But for what it is, and especially with the length of the teeth, like it does go in pretty well, you can see. But I think the fact that this has a handle on it has definitely done a lot more of a better job than the tangle teaser did for me. Okay folks, so me and the throat are back. You can see their lovely shape. I'm very, very happy with the shape right now. Um, just to finish off my hair, after I added um, the leave-in conditioner and the oil, um, I then used the Curls Blue Bone Bliss Curl Control Jelly just to define my curls a little. I just raked my fingers through my hair and then I just let it dry and we have the fro back again. So now on to the brush and my verdict. Right, so. This is a... Uh, how much hair I lost in this process. Excuse me, it has a bit of residue of product in. It smells gorgeous though. <laughs> yes guys, it's a bit gross, but here we go. So this is how much hair I lost. Something tells me that that's a little bit more, not a ton more, but it's definitely more hair than I lost when I was doing, when I was using the Tangle Teaser. And I believe part of the reason for that is because I was able to kind of sort of get into my roots a bit better than I could with the Tangle Teaser. Um, I feel like one reason why, which I kind of explained before, was that I feel like because it has a handle, somehow it's easier to get into the roots than it is to actually put your whole hand with a Tangle Teaser into your hair and then like pull the Tangle Teaser through. So I felt like for this, you could definitely somehow maneuver it a lot more easily because of the shape of the brush into your roots or my roots. So for, for me, that was definitely a plus. Um, one thing I did definitely like about this brush is that, sorry, I've still got hair in there, that I like the, the length of the teeth is good. That also meant that it was easier to get into my roots as well. Um, I also like this design. Because there were some bits of my hair that when I kind of hit a bit of a knot and I pulled, 
it actually started to bend like bend back so let's say I've got a tangle uh, or a bit of a knot when I start pulling on my hair like these bits here actually started to stretch a bit back so as opposed to something that's really really rigid um this actually kind of had a bit of a give to it so it wouldn't just literally rip through your hair it would actually bend a little which helps to kind of make sure that it doesn't break your hair in the same way as some other tools would and another thing that i like is also because of how long the teeth are i felt like it could actually deal with thicker or larger areas of my hair more easily than the tangle teaser would and the tangle teaser was quite good to be honest but this I feel like dealt with larger sections of hair better than that did so as a final score the Felicia Leatherwood detangler brush gets from me a 9 out of 10 as you can see from the clips initial once it got through the initial sort of tangles it literally just like flew through my hair especially the sections that were really large and thick so i felt i feel like this is actually a really good brush in terms of if you really need to detangle thick sections of your hair more quickly i feel like this would work and i also like the fact that these are quite deep so again that helps to deal with the thickness the one reason i wouldn't give it a 10 is just because again it kind of sort of gets towards the roots better than another uh, brush would but yeah it still was a little bit tiny bit problematic to be completely honest there's always going to be some kind of issue with regards to getting into my roots um but i still feel like my wide tooth comb really gets in there a lot better because clearly it's a comb and it's not a brush but basically we're going with a nine out of ten i am pretty happy and impressed so kellys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then please give me a thumbs up also if you know of any other detangling tools that you would like me to try out then let me know in the comment box below the video I feel like this is kind of sort of turning into a series even though I didn't plan it to be but I feel like detangling is important so also to let you know um, I will be bringing back my wash and go gel um, tryouts and comparison series soon so definitely hit that subscribe button if you would like to see that um, I will also leave a link above so you can see some of the other videos that I've done where I compared like two different um, styling creams or gels or curl defining creams on either side of my head. So be sure to share this with a friend if you would like to if you think that they really enjoy this video and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.